Hey, how's it going everybody? Derek here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Kotatagram desktop messenger. So Kotatagram, if you don't know, is a modification of Telegram with some added, uh, you know, tweaks and features. So there are many ways to install it. Uh, the best way that I've found is to just use the app image file or the flat pack. In this guide, we'll use the flat pack release. So let's just copy this command here, open up a new terminal window, and we can just paste the install command in here like so. It's got a lot of stuff to install. So it, should, it shouldn't be too long, but it's, it's a lot of stuff, especially the KDE platform, which is like, you know, 300 some megabytes. Right, once the installation is complete, you can open up Kotatagram like so. So once you start the application, you can log into your Telegram account. Now at this point, I cannot sadly show you any further. Now it's not that I don't want to, it's just I use Telegram for my personal messaging and I don't want to film my personal messages. So I hope you guys understand, but I will go through the basics. So you click start messaging, enter your account number, which is your phone number. Now, you know, I'm not going to disclose my real phone number, but we can do like a, a made up one and uh, that will text you and you know, you can get your information. You can log in and it's just like Telegram, but with the added benefits that you get, you know, a lot of different stuff from Katatagram, you get uh, a lot of different features that we cover in the description of this article. But sadly, guys, I'm not going to film my my Telegram information. I really can't. I'm sorry. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video nonetheless. This is definitely a client to look out for if you prefer more features to the stock Telegram client. And I know that I definitely am going to be checking this one out. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.